Hi guys, and today we're going to be unboxing an Orc Battle Wagon. And before we do that, I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors, Goblin Gaming, who have sent me this kit out for review. Please check the description box down below, and you'll find a direct link to Goblin Gaming's web store. Okay guys, so let's have a look what's inside the box. In fact, before we have a look what's inside the box, let's have a look at the box art. So on the back of the box, we can see two variants of the Orc Battle Wagon there. We can see, um, well, from the front we can see the closed back with a big turret on the back. And then on the back of the box we can see two variants with an open uh, back of the wagon. And I think this looks absolutely fantastic, this kit. Now I'm not starting to paint Orcs as an army i literally got this kit in specifically to do a tutorial on for you guys and to paint it up just because i knew it'd be such a fun paint job to do um with all the weathering that you can do on this kit how cool the tracks and and the uh the wheels look on this kit i think everything about this looks fantastic and as games workshop kits go what you actually get in this box which we'll have a look at now I think this kit is really well priced. Now you can get this kit at Goblin Gaming for just over £32 and you're getting a lot of plastic uh, for your money uh, as GW kits go. You get four full sprues of plastic and you also get a decal sheet as well. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the manual. So taking a look at the manual guys, um, it looks like it's going to be fairly straightforward to put together. If I've got any one gripe about this kit is because it's an older kit, the parts on the sprue are not numbered. So you have to look very carefully at the diagrams and the photographs to find out what parts you need to cut off the sprues uh, for the particular part on the vehicle that you're going to be working on. Now I don't think that's going to be too difficult at all to be honest on this kit. It's just going to be more time consuming because you're not going to be looking for those numbered parts because as I said they're not numbered. Um, but there's so many configurations that you can go with with this battle wagon with where you put the turrets and whether you're going to go with the open or closed back on the wagon. You can add orcs as well into the back of the wagon as well uh, or you can omit to do that. <laughs> that's a loud motorbike guys <laughs> sorry about that background noise um, where were we yeah uh, talking about the configurations now the configuration I think I'm going to go with is I really like the open back of the uh, wagon there and I'm going to put the big turret up front I think with a closed hatch so I'm not going to go with any orcs I believe uh, on show uh, I'm going to heavily weather this tank up uh, more so than I've done on most of my recent tanks so I'm going to have great fun on, on this vehicle so what we'll do now guys we'll have a look at the sprues okay so let's have a look at the sprues and the first thing that springs to mind for me is how many rivets are on this tank now depending on how i paint this tank i might be painting the rivets individually uh like silver and then rust around the out, outer edges of the rivets so it's going to take quite some time to do that but it's going to be so much fun um a rivet count as dream this kit is by the looks of it uh, you can see some of the really cool details there on the doors down there for the wagon. We've got um, one of the uh, hatch handles for one of the doors. That I believe is top plate for the back of the wagon if you want it closed off. So some really nice details there on that sprue. So then we've got the front of the truck, one of the arms for one of the orcs if you want to use it, one of the, uh, it's like some kind of grabber mechanism, which looks really cool. Got some bull horns there, some nice little extra details that you can add to the truck if you want to. Some guns, and then we've got the orcs up to the top left of the sprue here. 
some nice uh, iconography there on that hatch, which looks really cool. Okay, we'll go on to the next sprue. Okay, so we've got another gun for one of the turrets there. Got the wheels. Part of the um, chassis assembly, I believe. This looks really nice. Some exhaust system there and some extra glyphs that you can decorate the kit with uh, if you so wish to do so. so that's nice. And last but not least, we're on to our final and fourth sprue. And we have the chassis there. And this is really cool. You can actually leave part of the engine showing uh, if you want, or you can put this grill over the engine assembly there, which is a nice little touch. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking of maybe cutting this in half and having half of the engine showing and half closed. So we'll see what I do with that in the build. I'm not too sure yet how I'm gonna go with that. Uh, but it's nice that they give you the option and the details there on the kit, which, which I think looks really, really cool. Uh, so that's the final sprue. Uh, let me know what you think of the Orc Battle Wagon, guys, in the comments field down below. I think this kit is going to be just pure pleasure to build and paint, um, I would imagine. And as I said, this will be a tutorial, so look out for that in the next couple of weeks, guys. And as I just mentioned a moment ago, please let me know what you think of it in the comments field down below. Don't forget to check out Goblin Gaming in the description box down below. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Uh, hopefully you stuck with the video after I just announced that it was the end of the video. <laughs> but I have the completed Orc Battle Wagon in front of us. And I went with a configuration where it was open at the back. And I put all the heavy weapons up at front. And I think it looks really, really cool. It's a, it's a gorgeous looking kit guys and it's got some weight to it as well for a plastic kit and as I said you get a lot of plastic parts uh, in this kit for, for the money so it's a really nice modelless kit to work on because you can have so many different configurations and it's easy for converting as well not that I'm an expert on converting guys but if you want to convert anything Orc's the way to go really um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the Orc Battle Wagon in the comments field down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.